What's good? In focus with a good angle. Here we have it. That is our Who's Your Craw Daddy? Uh, what's nice about this? Hit it with that UV. A little bit of glitter in there. A little bit of legs, a little bit of body, a little bit of antennae, a little bit of wire. So let's go ahead and tie one of these up. I wanted to get one of these here on YouTube just so we know what's going on. I like to throw these up here so they stick around. The internet is forever. All right. We are using a size 8. This is a Moonlit ML054. This is their Nymph streamer hook. I believe it's a 1x strong, 2x long. Thread. We are using a 50 denier gel spun. Okay. Small, light, strong. The downside for me is it's slippery, so we just got to make sure we start that really good. And gel spun can be kind of tough on certain scissors, so be that as it is, use it your caution. Now that that's locked in, we need to add some weight. And we're going to do this a little bit differently than just slapping it on and wrapping it around. This is uh, two hundredths, that's 0 .020, not 020, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, that's two hundredths, lead-free wire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a strip right on top. We'll lay our thread all the way to the tip of the hook, right? The one and only wire I helicopter. Reset our thread towards the front. Now we're going to lay a little strip on the near side of the hook. Match that length up front. Thereabouts is good enough. And we'll take our thread and work our way towards the rear. Right at that hook point. All right, last but not least, one last time. One more time for the people. This is for our friends. One last strip right on top. I'm mean, not on top, but on the far side. I rotated everything towards me. What's up, 406? What's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I, I saw a quick flash of Montana. Where did you say? Northwest. Outstanding country up there. I, like most tourists, my experience with Montana is coming through Bozeman and hitting the uh, Upper Madison. I like gallops slide in. Fun times out there. That's my uh, eyes, and you go to your happy place, and Montana is my happy place. And what's nice about that is I actually get to go there. You know, you get to imagine your happy place, but then you actually get to go there. My uh, glue here is a little stuck, as it should be. Zap o gap, zap a gap. I like calling it zap o gap. But all right, we're gonna just wet our thread, just a little, little drop, a little dab of glue, yeah. There we go. Looks like we got a little bit too much glue on there, but we'll we'll deal with it in just a moment. It's a 50 denier gel spun thread, so what we're doing here is we're wrapping the crap out of it, but we're not building it up too much. All right, check out this fancy tool. One square of toilet paper. We'll fold this over a few times. And we'll just wipe off the excess glue. How about that? 
I'd do that a thousand times before I got to replace my roll. Uh, the question is thread. I'm using a Vivas 50 denier gel spun plus. Get our tension back. All right, we'll take our thread into the into that hook point. All right, we'll check this out. So up here. We have our three strips, boom, boom, boom. And what that did is that got that got our weight to the bottom. Kept everything on the bottom of this hook, or the top of the top of the hook, bottom of the fly. All right. So first things first on our who's your craw day. We need our craw body. And I picked this up at my local Fly Expo. This is a fish skull crawbatty olive. Oop, here we go. This is a small, and I'm using this on the size 8 hook. So we're right within its appropriate size. And this is going to be a lot of fun to uh, work with in the water. Um, as far as its size, I could easily sling this with my, my 10 car rod. And definitely hit the still water fish. And it comes with, uh, you know, some interpretive directions. So let's start that off. All right. Here's our little body. And it's going to do the Macarena. Da 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 it's gonna give itself a little hug. All right, let's spin our thread counterclockwise, anti-clockwise, whatever your nomenclature is. And we're going to carefully tie in this head facing towards the rear. And I started on the near side of the hook because as I add tension, there we go. We got a bite on it. Just a little bit more light. There we go. So I'm making my ripes concise and purposeful here. There we go. Give it a quick swing. Make sure we're doing all right. We're looking good. All right. Take it on the far side. Get it out of the way. Because that way when I hit it, it'll just kind of flip and flop out of the way. <clears throat> all right. A little insurance policy here. Another little dab of zap -a gap this will just add right to the bod. Oh, this will be uh, archived in uh, my live stream playlists. I keep all my YouTubes available and open to the public. I did this a couple of times already on Instagram, but the downside to those videos is they disappear after 24 hours. So... Take notes, this will be available uh, later on for your viewing pleasure, but stick. And just as I say that, it cuts me off for a connection error. All right, but we'll continue on without skipping a beat. Well, a couple beats were skipped. All right, here we go. We have some Semperfly Straggle String. This is a brown olive. Uh, just picked this up from my good friends at the Fly Life Company. Check them out. All right, I'm going to tie this in. And we'll just cut the rest of that off. We're going to work this all the way forward. Just so we're making contact. Not too concerned about that. We'll just tie that in. We'll get our thread out of the way. And we just need to take a couple of wraps with our straggle string right behind the head. I've experimented with uh, 
some eyes, but I just wasn't wasn't satisfied with the results. All right, so we took a few wraps, and we'll just set this off to the side. Now we get to tie in our little feelers, our antennae, whatever you want to call them. And for that, we have some good, high-quality moose mane. And we have two, two fibers, two... And I like mine kind of long. So, I don't know. I'll just line this right up with my spring there for a visual reference. We're going to tie half on the near side, half on the far side. Or one side near, one side far, rather. There we go. Do as I do, not as I say. Alright, I'll take this right up to my little bump. Excellent. Not too worried about it roostering up yet. We're going to come over that with the straggle string here in just another moment. Let's grab our one for the far side. Line it up. Sometimes it's just easier to just get a... Sorry about the bump on the camera. We'll get a wrap or two over that. There we go. Up, up, and away. Make sure our ends are relatively close. All right, thanks for tuning in. Best way to catch these live videos is hit that subscribe button and hit the little alarm notification. That way you get the instant access, immediate notifications. AA Ron is live. All right, let's continue on. Oh, it's not easy to tie in front of a camera. It's really not easy to tie in and will go wrong. It's like Murphy's Law in effect. All right, so my wire here that I just tied in without showing. Uh, UTC wire, small, using this for us. Uh, you know, small body on a speaker or something like that as far as color. All right, bring that forward. And now we can get our hackle. We got to have a hackle feather. This is going to be our legs, and for this, check this beauty out. This is not what it's intended for, folks. This is a Whiting's 100-pack, size 18. So we've tied a few of these already, and I have the remainder of said feather. Look at that. That is beautiful. We'll just do a couple little notches. We'll tie it in top side down, green side up. Crunch. Hear that crunch on that tip of that hook. Oobly. All right, finally we'll bring our thread forward and park that out of the way. Let's go ahead and build our body. Carefully get our straggle string. And we'll just continue on our quest. Working our way towards the rear. Right about here, I'm just going to take a couple of extra wraps because uh, the body's going to be there, the bulk of the body. And I want just a little bit, a little bit of a taper. So we'll just take a wrap or two extra there. And then we can continue on 
wrap by wrap, turn by turn, working our way back. All right. We're making progress. I really like the profile of this crawdad when it's all said and done and wrapped up with. All right. Don't want to crowd that eye quite yet. You're going to crowd the eye. Do it last. Do it with a head. Do it with purpose. Trim off that excess. How about it? Looking good. Looking good. All right, check your watches. We can get a better ding out of that. Hold on. Check your watches, folks. It's hackle time. Real simple. Let's take a full turn there. And an open spiral working our way back. Nice and even. Beautiful. That's what I love about that feather. It's nice and even. Even Steven. Even Steven. Even Steven Trybowski. Ha 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 ha. Like what I did there? That was fun. And this, this little niblet, this little piece of feather goes back into the scrap bin. That is a bona fide usable scrap. We'll use that for another fly another day. All right. We'll take the least, the most underappreciated tool, the good old bodkin. Everybody talks about everything else. What's the best this? What's the best that? What about the what about the good old bodkin? All right. Let's tie this in. Locking wraps, and we'll park our thread up there for now. Now we get to do our counter wraps, and we've got one little thread, or one little bit of something hanging out there. Piece of blue hackle. All right, I'll do one full turn. Front of the claws, so we gotta sneak those around and there we go. And the rest is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Give that a nice, nice firm pull. I make kind of a diagonal across the bottom. And now we just work our way back. Here we go. I'm loving it. All right. Take some locking wraps. Oh, that broke off. Well, I guess we won't have to cut our helicopter that. We'll go right into our whip finish. See how we didn't crowd that eye? I got a little, a couple of hackle fibers sticking forward, but not worried about presentation back there, and I'm not gonna worry about that doing anything to my 
tip it. Gel spun, I got to do that twice. It It's so slippery. Here. That gel spun. All right. And check it out. The secret sauce. Some Sally Hansen's hard as nails. Keeping it simple with this, we just add a little touch. Just a half a little drop right, right there in that gel spud. And that's it. A little, little, little coloring to do. For that. We've got Pro Marker, and it is a where we go burnt sienna, and it's alcohol based, opposed to a water based. And I'm just gonna muddy this olive up just a little bit because mine around me are a little bit darker than olive. But you can definitely color this as you see fit. Maybe not full blown brown, but we'll keep some of that olive Pikachuing through. There we go. Where is my little brush? Do I have my little brush handy? Are you hiding under the moose? There you are. All right. Another fancy technical tool here. A little piece of Velcro. I'm a popsicle stick. And I'm just going to tickle that belly just a little bit. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Anything that got trapped under that wire. That's our, our cue to clear that out. So there you have it. Who's your crawdaddy? Any questions? Comments? Let me know. We'll do what we can to answer them the best we can. All right, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, happy tying. Tight lines. Peace.